Hello everyone, Luke the Apostate here, and today I want to translate a term from Christianity into English, and that term is faith. There are basically three definitions of faith as Christians use it, and then I've got an example that shows you how it sort of gets cluttered in discussion. The first meaning of faith is an organized body of dogma. So you might say the Christian faith or the Muslim faith. When a Christian says that, they're referring to the Christian doctrines on the nature of man and the Christian doctrines on the nature of God and the Christian rules for behavior, perhaps. And when a Christian says the Muslim faith, they're referring to that same idea. The second definition of faith that Christians usually use is an act of belief without evidence. And I'm not making a moral judgment here or mocking people for believing things that they don't know for absolutely sure, because all of us do that all the time. It's a natural, normal human behavior. The Christian use of it is explicit, though. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, this is the go-to verse for most Christians when asked to define faith. Hebrews 11, 1 describes faith as in things hoped for and things not seen explicitly without evidence. So when a Christian says, I have faith in God, and you ask, do you mean in Hebrews 11, 1 sense, they will usually say, yes, yes, God didn't come down and punch me in the face and prove he physically existed. I have faith in God without the sort of concrete evidence that other people might demand. The third meaning of faith is a level of confidence. That is, distinct from why someone has confidence, the term faith might be used by a Christian or an atheist or anyone else to describe a high or low level of confidence that something will happen or that someone is a certain way. I have faith in John that he'll pay back the debt. He's a solid person. I have faith the sun will rise tomorrow. These are expressions of confidence. The problem that happens in conversation between Christians and non-Christians is that Christians will sometimes use the term faith with very rapidly changing context and often without awareness of that changing context. And so they will say something like, I have faith in God, you have faith in science, we both have faith without realizing, often, that what they've meant to say is, I have a Hebrews 11 belief without evidence in a God. You have expressed a high degree of confidence in the scientific process. We both have an organized body of dogma. The problem is that a Christian who isn't aware of this rapid shift of context and meaning may think that they have proven that the Christian and the secular humanist have an identical sort of framework to approach the universe. Now, many non-Christians will talk about how their high level of confidence is superior to the Christian belief without evidence, and I don't want to address that. I want to emphasize that very often. I, as a Christian, certainly heard this sort of thing all the time. I have faith, you have faith, we both have faith, and nobody in the church ever explicitly explored what each of those uses of faith meant. I don't think most Christians are being purposefully disingenuous. I think that if you stopped them and asked them what kind of faith they had, what kind of faith they think you have, and what kind of faith you both have, there would be a useful discussion of terms and clarification of understanding. And that the Christian at the end of that may understand how their faith and the faith of a secular humanist in the scientific method or the theory of gravity differ enough that using the same term in a sentence like that doesn't communicate properly. But... I think that that better understanding of terms is only achievable if we approach each other civilly and with kindness.
I hope this has been informative and educational, and I hope that it will encourage you to be kind to one another. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, hit the links for watching other videos, and thank you for watching.